So tell me, what do you think the future of cancer care looks like? Yeah, you know, an area in which I really feel like can still be developed is uh, combination therapy. So we're very much focused on targeted treatment, for example, and we know that works in a, in a large portion of our patients. However, we feel like there's an opportunity to also provide uh, concurrent immunotherapy. Um, and, and doing so in combination, we feel like, would be much more effective in treating our cancer patients um, rather than, than doing so separately. We're currently developing a study to, to both test this and to evaluate you know, which types of cancer respond best to this type of treatment and which ones still need further investigation and whatnot. So the other area that I feel like uh, could be uh, a more effective clinical research. This is something that I'm very passionate about. I, I feel like, uh, you know, there's, uh, there's lots of different research and, and different types of studies out there, but a way in which we can improve the way we, we conduct cancer clinical research is having greater access to clinical trials. Our patients uh, are, are very desperate sometimes to, to uh, receive any type of, right. of treatment at this point, and being able to provide them with, with these types of opportunities is, is, is critical. The other way is, is to increase in or, or improve our ability to collect samples in which we can treat and, and test in order to, to provide more effective treatment down the road. The third uh, option would really be to be able to create avenues in which we can uh, share and, and aggregate data around how we treat cancer so we're not limited by, by single institutions, uh, but rather we're sharing across uh, multiple institutions and really building that pool of information, that big data that we talk about and ultimately, that's how we'll, we'll really be uh, more most effective in, in treating cancer. We're doing this now with, with uh, the recent news ar around our data consortium. Uh, other nonprofits uh, like Intermountain are, are able to share very high-level genomic information around cancer patients, and we're able to, to share that and use that and, and, and go forward with what we can learn. So what does that mean for patients? So you mentioned the data consortium. So what does that mean for a patient? Yeah, so you know how it affects patients is ultimately we're able to develop technology and, and new biomarkers, for example, novel therapeutics that will ultimately get back to the patient and, and much quicker than it would otherwise. The, the ability to, to aggregate this data allows us to identify answers to these questions much more quickly. Are you able to learn from different cases and different institutions and combine that data together? Absolutely. There, there's many times where we see a very you know, rare cancer and a very unique case here within our own system, but we have nothing to really compare that with. We have to maybe wait until that happens again to really right. know wi if our treatment was m the most effective route or not. But when we can see data from other institutions, we can see if maybe they've seen a similar uh, type example and then use that and, s and, and go forward and, and seeing which one was better uh, if we need uh, to try it again, for example, or if, if that was really the best way to treat that patient.